Hey, um, my name's Doug Mount. I want to do a quick video on how I use the Testers Dull Coat Top Coat Finish uh, product on these Kurt Busch Monster Energy cars because, you know, of course you want to get that matte black look and the best way to do it that I've discovered is to use the Testers Dull Coat uh, Top Coat Finish. So, Obviously, there's a lot of prep involved in getting this car to this spot, but needless to say, after uh, the car has been completely, the donor car has been completely stripped down, uh, painted uh, black, uh, reassembled, and um, the decals have been applied, multiple coats of a clear sealer that I use, which is the Pledge uh, Floor Care Finish product. Um, I say multiple three to four coats then I apply a thin coat of this and that is now dried and I'm gonna apply uh, the second coat which will be the the last coat so um, first things first you know you gotta shake this up really good this product does separate and settle when um, uh, when not in use so you wanna shake that up and get that um, uh, mixed up really well uh, before you use it and I'm gonna I'm gonna back the camera up a little bit just because it's a little bit easier for me to to handle the car when the cameras a little bit further away but <clears throat> I've got a, a a nice clean brush here this is uh, the brush that I use for um, uh, any type of of uh, enamel um, uh, coating and so uh, this brush is ready to go and I like to use the, a brush like this because it's you know it's it's small enough but it's um, it's got a nice kind of it's not a perfectly straight edge but it's a it's a nice pointy uh, edge on it so I can get uh, where I need to get and also uh, keep the product off of some glossy areas like the windows and things like that all right so let's go um, I've said this before in my other videos, but you kind of have to work quickly uh, with this product in order to uh, in order to get a good finish because it does dry um, very quickly, and um, and you don't want to brush your strokes over top of areas that have just uh, been done. So you want to apply it liberally here for this second coat. Again, I don't want to get it on the windows.
Okay. Let's do the back here. You notice when I do those large surface areas, I want to get a lot on the brush because I, I just want to do it. want to go over it one time. I don't want to have to go back over it uh, once it's drying. So. Okay. It dries so fast. I can kind of touch that area there where just recently got done Okay. One down, one to go. Here, I'm going to push this back just a little bit here. Get my hand a little bit more room. Like so. If you do get the product on the window, um, it's not the end of the world, but you definitely don't want to try to do that. Um, you can get um, <clears throat> some of the clear sealer once it's dried and go over it a few times to try to put that gloss back on it, but um, it never really seems to get back to what it was before, so you just want to um, try to uh, not... Uh, get it on the windows. Um, you can see I did a little bit here and here, but um, it's not too, too bad.
Alrighty. That one you can see how quickly it's drying. Go back to this one. It's largely already dried. Just after, you know, five, six minutes. Um, it's not a hundred percent dry, but if you can see and, and this is just a case in point and, and why it's it's very difficult to get to just nail this finish. Look on the roof here. If you can see really close, you can see how I was um, brushing uh, this way when I first started. And it looks pretty good back here. It looks uniform and even. You don't see any brush strokes there. But when you come to the front, as it was drying, you can see a little bit of the brush strokes ever so slightly in that finish. But more than that, if you remember, I took my brush sideways like this. And then you can see the transition, right? You can see the transition as I went sideways from this area. You can see that line right across there in the finish, ever so slightly. And that just shows you how difficult it is to nail this, uh, to nail this uh, product on uh, on here. I mean, it doesn't look bad, um, but. As I strive for perfection, that's that's kind of what I'm after. And when I see little things like that, it's you know it's not it's not perfect, um, but the rest of the car is looking pretty good. All right, let these fully dry. Um, I usually like to let um, things dry for 24 hours before I box them up and and um, you know ship them off or or whatever. So um, uh, they're completely 100% dry, and they're not going to stick to the inside of a box anywhere. So um, yeah, well, let's get some paint thinner on here. Alright guys, that is my little tutorial on how I use the Tester's Dull Coat on these Kurt Busch Monster Cars. God bless you. Have a great day.